This is SAT practice test three, non-calculator question number 13, dealing with a rational function. They ask which of the following is equivalent to this rational expression. There's two options to do this. First is, under time pressure for the SAT, if they're equivalent, they'll match for all x values, and I like to use x equals zero. If only one option matches at x equals zero, then that answer must be correct. So, at x equals zero, this is one over one half plus one third. Least common multiple of two and three is six, so let's multiply by six over six, because anything over itself is one. And when I multiply by one in that form, my numerator is six, my denominator is one half times six, is half of six is three, plus one third times six is one third of six is two, six over five. The correct answer will give six over five at x equals zero. So let's try that. This is five over six, zero plus five over zero plus zero plus six, which does not match. This one is zero plus zero plus six over zero plus five is six over five. That matches, but that does not mean it's the correct answer because something else might match when you're just making up numbers. However, choice C is five, which is wrong, and choice D is zero plus zero plus six, which is wrong. The only that choice that matches at x equals zero is choice B, so that must be correct for all x. Let's try doing the real math, though, just in case you ever need to. What College Board wants you to do instead of multiplying by 6 over 6 is multiply by the least common denominator of these expressions, x plus 2, x plus 3, over itself. When the way you multiply fractions is you multiply numerators, which gives me 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. And then you multiply denominators distributing. So that would be 1 over x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 plus 1 over x plus 3 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. 1 over x plus 2 times x plus 2 is 1. 1 over x plus 3 times x plus 3 is 1. So that leaves a numerator of x plus 2, x plus 3, which FOIL gives you x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 over x plus 3 plus x plus 2. Simplifying, that's x squared plus 5x plus 6 over 2x plus 5, which is choice B, but under time pressure for the SAT, I would just check with x equals 0 or x equals 1, and that essentially always works. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.